Locally produced fresh produce is the need of the hour, Tourism Minister Babas Gaukar said in the aftermath of the formalin scare. Wailing Priol Gram Sabha got heated up over non-functioning of newly installed LED street lights. Members also upset over NOC to liquor shop. A Nigerian was arrested with 1.30 lakh rupees worth drugs in Kalangu. This drug bust is a part of a series of busts in that coastal belt, which is a very some sign. Goa to host APEC Tecra World Cup Championship in February 2019. This sport only allows players to use their feet, knee, chest, and head to touch the ball. Now the news in details. Both the sports minister Babu Asgaukar and Mandre Emele Dhanan Sopte were present for a farmers function at Ozri and both were sitting side by side on the days. These two were at loggerheads a couple of days back in the assembly. Was the fight real or is this born homey just an uneasy truce based on political realities? Pragatshil Shatkari Sang Penne felicitated seven farmers. Both the MLAs were present for the function. Both of them spoke about the importance of farmers and the importance of eating fresh agricultural produce in the background of the formalin scare in the state. Bajit Sudar, the country of a chemical use, and the Rubric, Bajit, as a fresh salad, food as a fresh salad, a Kalitara Savan Marble. At the pure remedy, the bread of bread, I'm just saying, very gentle, at the hundred percent, or Tunchi girl, Tunjolan, Mayan turn of the Our reporter Sandeep Kamulkar from Pelne. Non-functioning LED street lights and a wholesale liquor outlet was hotly debated at the Veli Priol Gram Sabha on Sunday. The NOC of the liquor shop license was allegedly issued without informing the Sarpanch by the secretary. And the LED street lights, instead of becoming a boon, have become a bane as maintenance is a non-starter, people alleged. Locals say that there are 44 liquor bars in the village and they do not want any more. Besides, they question the NOC issued by the panchayat stating that there is no opposition to the liquor outlet when in fact there was. The Panchayat body claimed to be in dark about this. In fact, the Sarpan defended himself claiming that he was not assigned on NOC for the liquor shop. He promised to write to the department concerned to revoke the licenses. Get 
आनी तेजेर निर्णय घेतलो ते तेंच्यानी जे आरटीए मागो जे जे पेपर आमचे कडेन भेलले तेंचे जर जे किदे डॉक्युमेंटेशन तिचे सारखे ना बरोबर ना किदे प्रोविजन लायसन जर तिसुचे अप्रूवल जो इतर के जो गोष्टी ते कोरोना आणि ते नासताना हेल्थाचे म्हण किंवा आणि कन्सर्न डिपार्टमेंटाचे जे रोशी नासताना जे चालू झाले त्याच्या बद्दल आम्ही इमिडिएट ॲक्शन घेतलेली असा आणि ग्रामसभेकूय आम्ही एक ठराव केला असा की ते अंतर्गत आम्ही कन्सर्न डिपार्टमेंट जे असा एक्सरसाइज असू दे किंवा व्हिडिओ असू दे ते कन्सर्न डिपार्टमेंटाक आम्ही ते ते किती स्टेप असा त्यांची किती मागणी असा ते आम्ही ते रिव्ह्यू करचे हे असा ते आवर रिपोर्टर कृष्णा नायक इन पोंडा Nuve Gram Sabha on Sunday resolved to form a road safety committee and to collect 300 rupees as garbage tax per month for flats and 600 rupees for commercial premises. A member of Gram Sabha raised the issue of a pedestrian walkway not having been demarcated and demanded that this be done. I am proposing the formation of a road safety committee. Why? Because the A Gram Sabha member raised the issue of Konkani not being spoken at the meeting. She urged everyone to speak in mother tongue. Our reporter Sandeep Twekar from Nuve. We will take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. The Kalangut police arrested a Nigerian national with ganja and charas worth rupees 1.30 lakhs on Saturday night. The accused person has been placed under arrest and booked under Section 20B 2A of NDPS Act. catching people with drugs seems to be an everyday story on this coastal belt which is a worrisome sign here's the story in detail on saturday evening the kalangut police arrested 30 year old nigerian chenadu monday near fat fish restaurant in baga he was arrested with drugs which included ganja worth 50000 rupees and charas worth 80000 rupees as per kalangut pig ba dalvi They receive reliable information which was received that a Nigerian national will be coming to deliver drugs to prospective customer near the Fat Fish restaurant in Baga. Kwa 365 Bureau in Panaji. In a bid to keep a check on minors being used for hawking on its beaches, the Kalangut police rescued three children on Sunday. This was a drive to keep a watch for children moving around beaches alone. The three were found moving around beaches selling articles. they have been sent to apnagar in meses the three children who have been moving around the beach selling articles were found without any guardian and hence come under the vulnerable of abuse category the two minor boys age 14 and 15 both native of uttar pradesh and minor girl of 14 years native who is originally from karnataka have been launched and sent to apnagar for safety custody and protection after obtaining order from the child welfare committee PIG Vadal B said that this drive will continue from time to time our reporter Sandeep Kamalkar in Kalangut 
The Congress party has opposed the introduction of transfer of development rights moved by the state government. The party says the government should first prepare a database before any decision is taken. The TCP amendment bill has three main planning tools. They are reservation, TDR and TDR for posterity. The concept envisages areas which need to be preserved like natural resources, heritage sites, riverine areas. Also, when land is acquired, the FAR can be given to owners instead of compensation. This FAR can be used by owners in other settlement areas. Goa is no place for such TDR. Friends, you have to understand that the transferable development rights cannot be introduced when you have large tracts of open space. But for obvious reasons, this government and its appendages who are the coalition partners, <coughs> desire this with an underlying reason of corruption to promote their own financial gain. So what they want to do is to usurp the right of a non-developable area for their buildings and constructions and purchase those rights in a smaller form from the landowners of those plots of land and not the tenants. The Congress party opposes this move of this government which has been promoted to bring about this TDR business for obvious reasons to bring about transferable monies to themselves rather than transferable rights of those people who are owning large tracts of open spaces. I therefore once again reiterate that unless a complete data or database is created on the land masses around cities and various other parts, unless that data is made available to the people of Goa, there should be no TDR. Jitendra said the Congress party president in Goa, Girish Churankar, has brought this to the notice of the party legislators. He said they are likely to oppose the bill in the assembly. The transferable development rights are to be introduced in areas where there is no additional built up area available to the developers. And this they seek to surrender against a price to a developer who does not allow any more developable area for the existing building and take on over those rights to skyrise his construction. This is taken as an opportunity by this government to bring about this change for reasons best known to them and to us and the reason is very simply bring about, transform that land for themselves under the garb of transferable development rights. Our video journalist Shamchari in Panji. Despite facing hurdles to run an institution and denying grant in aid, Vikas Parishad Mandre has decided to continue to run the Mandre College of Commerce, Economics and Management. Today the Parent Teacher Association met and they considered this entire aspect and they authorized me to speak to the people of Goa and they have unanimously resolved that no matter what happens, they will fight this injustice, they will fight this discrimination, they will take this issue before the public. We will also explore the possibility of once again going to court. We will approach the MLAs and the parent teachers themselves, parents themselves, the delegation will try and meet the chief minister and the other ministers concerned. And we appeal to the people of Goa 
considering the economic and social backwardness of the villages in Pedne, particularly in Mandre and surrounding villages, considering the student strength, considering the difficulty, travel difficulties, and also difficulties in getting admission to the prestigious institutions in MAPSA, which prescribe a threshold of marks for the purpose of admission, that this college must survive, and unanimously they have decided that we shall fight to ten nail to keep this institution alive. And the Chief Minister writes, in view of the explanation, whose explanation now? Not our explanation, not our case, finance department. <coughs> and X above, now X I will read for you. We may regret granting aid to the college. However, the college may decide to operate the program on self-financing basis if they desire in view of a prepage. A is what? Well, you are there for last seven years, six, seven years. Now, what is this X in the note? It says, what is the crux of the whole thing? Why permission, grant is refused now? Giving grant in aid to such an institution, having common course of studies, will invite future applications from any or all institutions which will further result in additional financial liabilities for the state government. And how can you still discriminate between one institution and another institution? Our video journalist, Shamchari Inpanji. We will take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. Natya Geet competition and festival has been organized by Nyandeep Goa in association with Ravindra Bhavan Sakli and Bilwadal Sakli to be held on 4th and 5th August. Various programs will be held on this occasion. This year, Sakli Bhushan Puraskar will be awarded to ex-chief minister and present MLA Pratap Singh Rani. Here's more to the story. Ravindra Bhavan Sakli, Bilwadal Sakli. Uh, and the Sayukta Vidyamanan Savish Nartagit Giants Parda, the Narta Sangit Motsav, the Ayojan Ravindra Bhavanath Shanivar Dinan Charabas, Sakari Dhatas, the Nartagit Giants Pardeja, Ayojan Dutle, and the Tadburuber, the Rewar Dinan Pajogas, the Narta Sangit Motsav Dutle, the Karakramang, the Sakari Dhat, the Bara Parenta, Shakuntal, the Manapman. तो ये वेगवेगो नाट्यगीत ये वेगवेगो नाट्यगीत स्पर्धा स्थली अब रिपोर्ट हो महेश कोविकर इन साकली Goa is to host a SAPAC TACRA, the Kick Volleyball World Cup Championship in February 2019. This tournament will be held at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee at Bambolim. Here's the story. SAPAC TACRA or Kick Volleyball which is also known is a sport native of South East Asia. A difference from a similar sport of foot volley in its use of rather than ball and only allowing players to use their feet, knee, chest, head to touch the ball. President of Sabak Takro Association of Goa, Babu Kavlekar said that nearly 20 countries will be participating in this championship. Listen in. India Federation of Sabak Takro is all India. Then we saw the loss of Goa team. Goa Sostaja Saja take a slack arm that the journey so paid that a tear you get in Kurta and take a lagoon as World Cup. I mean, I didn't curb a chair. I'm 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 just a very you pajasa. I mean, the old cop India with the pajasa te goya gamka mentally and I mean, I'm chair central committee jasa the go committee gamka. I didn't curb the Sunday you pajasa. I mean, the challenge as you want to see call us up. अन्य जन्ना ऑल इंडिया जे ऑल ऑल वर्ल्ड आज जाम का नेशनल आज जो यहाँ साथ सेक्रेटरी आसा सलीम कादर कादर ना त्या सुधा ये उन पर हम का जागी पोन के लिए आता हम जे डायरेक्टर का मीटिंग करने के लिए अन्य अनाउंस करो ऑलरेडी जब मैं कहलिया आसा त्या लगभग फ़ेब्रुअरी चा महीने चा आसपास मुझे 2018 फ़ेब्रुअरी 
फेब्रुवारी जाऊ शकता क्या नेशनल गेम जो हंगा जा अवलबन आसा नेशनल गेमी की तारीख फाटी फुटी जाए आसा डेटी क्लैश जा ना एक्जेक्ट डेट जो फिक्स के ना जो टू थाउजंड नाइनटीन फेब्रुवारी मार्च महीन हूँ वर्ल्ड कप आयोजन हंगा इंडिये करते इंडिये के वती गोवा होस्ट करते ते भाई नेशनल गेम जो गोय जा तत भर हम सपेक्टोक्रो टीम खेल आसा सामील आसा तत भर सुधा बड़ी भरीव कामगिरी करो जे हम हवेस मुटा जो भूगें दौर आसा मेनेजमेंट के पूर्व तैयारी मुझे सुरू के लिए आसा सरकार कमक इंडोर फेसिलिटी प्रेक्टीस करपा खीर फेसिलिटी अवेलेबल कर विनंती के संदीप दोवेकर इन मार्गव The third edition of the Amona Super League will begin in August. On Saturday evening, the player selection draft ceremony was held at the Amruteshwar Hall, Amona. Here's the story in detail. This one-month-long football tournament is organized in association with Sai Baba Sports Club, Amona. A total of six teams will be participating in this tournament. On Saturday, a formal draft ceremony was held, where many budding footballers were selected by different teams. The finals will be held on the 6th of September. This tournament has been held for three years, and we have been here for three years. And in these three years, we have been able to get the best of the players and the best of the players. This is the third option. This is the third option. And we have been able to get the best of the players. With that, we have come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates, log into our website www.goa365tv. Follow us on Facebook Goa365 TV or download our app on both Android and iPhones to watch it on your mobile. Keep watching. Thank you.